In this video we're going to look at the addition and subtraction of fractions. The most important thing whenever you're adding or subtracting fractions is that the two denominators are the same. So for instance if I had two thirds plus one fifth I would want to make the two denominators, the denominators in other word for the bottom number, to be the same. So what I want to do is I want to make, uh, I want to find a common multiple of three and five. I would strongly recommend watching two videos now, if um, they are, the one on common multiples and another one on equivalent fractions. So let's carry on. So, a common multiple of 3 and 5 would be 15, because 15 is a number in the 3 times tables and the 5 times tables. So, let's write 15 as the denominator for both fractions. Now, if I want an equivalent fraction with 15 on the bottom, well I need to multiply both the top and the bottom of this one by a number, so I get 15 on the bottom. So. What would you multiply 3 by to get the 15? Well, it would be 5. So let's multiply the top number by 5 as well. 2 times 5 is 10. Now, I want to uh, multiply 5 by a number to get 15. To, to, uh, the number you would multiply 5 by to get 15 would be 3. So I'm going to multiply the top number by 3 as well. 1 times 3 is 3. So I've now got 10 fifteens plus 3 fifteens. Well, 10 fifteenths plus 3 fifteenths is 13 fifteenths. Make sure you don't add the bottom number, okay? You're just seeing how many, if you've got 10 fifteenths and 3 fifteenths altogether, that would be 13 fifteenths. When you're adding fractions, you don't add the bottom to, uh, you don't add the denominators once they're the same, okay? So the answer is 13 fifteenths. Let's look at another example. So, if I had um, 1 fifth, plus uh, a quarter. Well, I would want to have a common denominator. So a common denominator would be, let's see what number is a common multiple for five and four. Well, let's use 20. To get from five to 20, you'd multiply by four. So let's times the one by four, and you get four over 20. To get uh, from four to 20, you'd multiply by five. So times the top number by five as well, and you get five over 20. 4 twentieths plus 5 twentieths is 9 twentieths. Let's look at another example. Okay, we're now going to do 8 ninths subtract a half. So, we want to get a common denominator. Well, let's think of a common multiple of 9 and 2. A number in the 9 times tables and the 2 times tables would be 18. You can use bigger common multiples as well. You could use 36, um, but you'll find that you'll need to cancel down your answer. So, I always try to find the lowest common multiple. So, uh, for 2... Uh, or 9 and 2, the common, uh, lowest common uh, multiple is 18, so we'll use 18 as the denominator. To get from 9 to 18, you multiply by 2. So 8 times 2 is 16. To get from 2 to 18, you'd multiply by 9. So you multiply the top number by 9 as well. So we've got 16 8 times, subtract 9 8 times. 16 take away 9 is 7. And the denominator is 8 times. So 16 8 times take away 9 8 times is 7 8 times. So the answer to our question is 7 8 times. Okay, before we do this example, I would strongly recommend now watching the video on improper fractions or top heavy fractions and mixed numbers. Okay, so we want to do 2 thirds plus 4 fifths. So again, we want to find a common denominator. So 3 and 5, we'll go for 15. So to get from 3 to 15, you'd multiply by 5, so you times the top number by 5, and you get 10 over 15. To get from 5 to 15, you'd multiply by 3, so 4 times 3 is 12. So we've got 10 fifteenths plus 12 fifteenths. Well, 10 fifteenths plus 12 fifteenths is 22 fifteenths. Now, quite often the question will want you to write this as a mixed number. As you can see, this is a top-heavy fraction. A top-heavy fraction is one where the number in the top line is bigger than the one on the bottom line. So what we're going to do is we're going to write this as a mixed number. So remember the line means divide. So how many 15s go into 22? Well, it's 1, remainder 7. So the answer is 1, the remainder is 7, we put that on the top line, and the 15 stays on the bottom line. To see how to change from top-heavy fractions to mixed numbers, look at that video now. Okay, so the answer would be 1 and 7 fifteenths. Okay, and our last example, we're going to do 4 and a quarter, subtract 2 and 3 fifths. Well, to do this, you're going to need to make both of these top-heavy fractions to begin with. So, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17, so that's 17 over 4. 
and 2 and uh, 3 fifths, well 2 times 5 is 10, plus 3 is 13 over 5. So this is 17 quarters, take away 13 fifths. Okay, so you want to get a common denominator. So for 4 and 5, well, a common denominator would be uh, 20. So we're going to use 20 on the bottom line. Okay, to get from 4 to 20, you'd multiply by 5. So you need to multiply the top number by 5 as well. I'm just going to use the grid method to do that. So I'm going to times by 5. I'm going to do 17 times 5. 5 times 10 is 50, and 5 times 7 is 35. Add those together is 85. So that's 85 over 20. And to get from 5 to 20, you times by 4. So you need to times the top number by 4 as well. So you're going to need to do 13 times 4. So 13, 10, and 3 times by 4. 4 times 10 is 40, and 4 times 3 is 12. So to add those together would be 52. So we've got... 85 twentieths subtract 52 twentieths. Well, we need to do 85 subtract 52. We do that, we get 3 and 3. We get 33. So the answer is 33 over 20. Now remember, this is a top-heavy fraction, and the line means divide. So how many 20s go into 33? Well, one, one um, 20 goes into 33 with a remainder of 13. So the answer is 1 and 13 twentieths.